Right, hello YouTube. Andy McKee, Guitar Doctor UK, professional guitar technician from the UK. Um, I recently got asked on one of my on one of the comments in my video whether you can make a bass slot <coughs> using this set of guitar nut files. Can I make a bass for a bass string? You know, a nut slot for a bass string. So I've had a think about it, and I'm going to give it a shot. So what? Uh, I'll go over the 105 because it's simple. We know, you know, we know the, we know the size. I'll probably go slightly, maybe a 16, 106. If I can get it to stop there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. 105.5, there we go, that'll do. So, <coughs> Got my vernier gauge, 105.5. Now I'm going to draw two lines. This is bone, by the way. It's an offcut of bone that I have. You know, I use a lot of bone. I keep the offcuts because they're sometimes handy. Right. Remember, the outside of these lines is the 105. So we'll put sort of like a circle in the bottom give us a, a rough idea I mean that looks terrible but you know it's uh, it's close it'll give us an idea whether or not we can do this and how much in fact messing about it is going to be right, let's change the camera for a minute so I can actually get in there I'll just put that in there and yeah Right, I'm just going to change the camera angle. Right, so I'm just going to mark those lines along the top. Get an idea of where they are. Could probably do with a square here as well to make that that square. I'm going to start with the ten. So there's one line. There's the another. <laughs> this is going to be pretty labour intensive, to be honest, by the look of it. Do a bit of light in here as well. Let's just get a bit more light. There we go. You probably can't see that now. Anyway. So if I cut towards the middle. That's going to give me... Yeah, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Right. I'm going to cut a line in the middle. There's two. There we go. Ooh. And I'm just going to move up through the files on that line. Open that slot out. Uh, I'm going to start rocking it as well now. I've got to be pretty severe with this rocking. <laughs> so far. Not looking overly promising, it's, you know, but it, it might it might work out. So we'll just give it a shot. I th 
think that initial cut with the 10 where I started to cut inwards that uh, might have knackered the top source part. Yeah, it's going okay. I mean, it's making a round slot, and it is. Making it quite big. So the answer is probably yes, you can do it. It's very labor intensive though. It's not quite wide enough. Let's try a. Let's go with a 40, 46. This is the biggest file in this set. This is the electric guitar set. You can get an acoustic set with slightly, slightly bigger um, files. I'd just like to point out I'm way more careful than this when I'm actually doing a nut for a customer. <laughs> this is just a little experiment for YouTube. Because I was asked the question, so... That's actually... Not bad. It isn't amazing by a long stretch. Right, let's have a look at that. I mean, as you can see, it's it's not great. <laughs> the back needs a bit of work. The back profile is bad. And the front. Yeah, it's not awesome. I'm going to just get an old bass string. Right, so I've got a bass string here. Let's just see. Now, it's passable, but it's not great because there's too much. There's no contact on the bottom of the string. It's sat up in the air, you see. So you're probably going to get buzzing from that. I wonder if we can just have a little play with that to to iron that out a bit maybe go for a 26 we want to be get cutting in there and in there I mean that's doing the job not great it's very labor intensive and the slot is way too deep that's not going to work so we need to find out uh, there and there there we go I'll give it another cut on those sections 
Don't need a lot really. This slot is terrible. It's kind of sitting in there now. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of the pencil marks. Actually have a look. Yeah, it's still very low in the middle but it's getting there I think you could do it you could do it but it would take you a long time you'd have to make a lot of effort you know um, although I suppose if you were to use an old string that is something some people do still not perfect But yeah, I think you could do it. But it doesn't cut a great slot and it takes a long time. That's too deep. I mean obviously you take the top off with a file. But still the bottom of the shape isn't great. But I think it's possible, yes. So that's answered that question. It is possible, but it takes a long time and um, the results aren't perfect. So you are better off just buying a set of base files if you want to be doing bases. I mean, I think these are like about 70 quid a set or something which is a lot of money really when you think about it for what they are and if you're doing this professionally then you want the right tool for the job but I guess if you're just doing one or two every now and then then yeah a set of these would do it and you could just do that at home you could always stick a, a needle file in there as well you know they're reasonably available and inexpensive let me just grab one so I've got a round needle file here That will uh, that just round that bottom off. Still slightly sharp. Yeah, I mean with the 105, you you know you can get away with this because it's quite a big string. But you know, with the thinner strings, you're, you're going to have to use. You're going to have to do the other method with the files, I guess. Does that fit any better? Uh, yeah, that fits pretty well now. You want to lose that top half anyway, the top sort of half a millimeter. So actually that's pretty good, that's done quite a good job with a combination of the needle files. Although the back is still awful, but the front is okay. So you'd have to tidy the back up. But then that wouldn't be the end of the world really. Because your contact point for your string is at the front. So you could kind of flare that back bit out a little if you angled the file.
Yeah. Obviously the angle of this is wrong because I haven't got a guitar to do it to, but I'm just seeing if you can get the actual shape of the slot. You'd have to do the angle according to your guitar. But you can, yeah, with a combination of needle files which are relatively inexpensive and quite easy to get hold of, and the Hosco guitar set, you can make bass slots, but it's going to take a long time. And um, yeah, not really worth doing if you're a professional, but you know, if you're a hobbyist, crack on. Enjoy. Anyway, that's it for that. Any more questions, comments, leave them in the, uh, in the relevant places. Give me a shout if you need anything. Advice is always free, as always. And uh, like and subscribe and, and all the rest of it would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Have a lovely evening. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.